Thanks for leaving us this is Super Zomber Guard Barbecue, and today we are back with WWE Supercard Season 3! And we're going to talk about the new cards that are in the game. These are the cards in the brand new Elite Hardened and Ultimate Tiers. And there's quite a few new cards, there's a couple of new animations, all things you guys want to know about. And we're going to start off by going straight into Hardened. If you have a look at the overall menus and everything else to do, with season three, then go to the video which I'm going to link into the video and actually look into the description below. And you can go check out season three for yourself, see what the menus look like and whatnot. And I suggest you go and do that before you watch this video. However, we're going to go straight into the brand new Hardened tier. We've already seen an AJ Styles and also an Alexa Bliss card. We've just moved on to an Alicia Fox making a return in this tier to the higher tier cards. The last time she was seen in the card was WrestleMania tier, so it's nice for her to have a card. And they said that some of the lesser talents or the ones that are more developing are going to be in the hardened tier. Braun Strowman, Bailey as well, Biggie, Becky Lynch, all cards you guys would have seen before, but all these new designs with the smoke coming off the back. The pro animation looks also absolutely incredible. Brock Lesnar, uh, also Carmella, which, yeah, I just got a fan. Ah, Cedric Alexander and Chad Gable, two new superstars they're going to speak about at the later stage. But some of the stats in these cards are incredible. You guys and girls probably know the SummerSlam cards for being over 10,000 points. Some of these card stats are just unreal. Dean Ambrose, uh, Dolph Ziggler, Finn Balor, Heath Slater. He's got kids, man. Mojo Rawley, Neville, Nia Jax, Randy Orton, Rich Swan, Cruiserweight. Uh, Sammy, Sammy's saying the Cruiserweight division's really heavily represented in uh, WWE Supercard Season 3. Shinsuke Nakamura as well, and Seth Rollins, Sasha Banks, all the guys you'd expect. Miz, Tyler Breeze. Ha! I know one person is going to be happy about uh, the Tyler Breeze card. Yeah, Footless is going to be happy about that. Let's move on from the Harden tier and move actually a little bit upwards to the Ultimate tier. Now, these are either classes, the, the best images in the game, but there are a couple in the uh, hard and elite tier that are amazing the miz specifically in the elite tier is amazing that aj styles card though look at the electricity the pro animation of it looks absolutely insane just let me know in the comment section what you think of the new designs because you're going to see the nxt cards as well alexa bliss it just the overall design of the cards really suit the the, the images of the, of the people as well so the images of the superstars the females the males the electricity, or the electric barrier that separates the SmackDown and the Live as well. Uh, just when I saw these cards for the first time in Seattle, I just thought this is pretty awesome. And that Asuka card, uh, the NXT logo just kind of popping in and out as well. The jagged edge that comes as a result of it, it just again, it looks just incredible. And um, also looking at that, it looks Asuka's one of the best cards in the game. She's got a really good set of stats. Bailey, Becky Lynch, Big Cass in that Ultimate Series of Big E. Uh, Braun Strowman, as you'd expect, he was very, going up the ranks. He's really getting big now. Bray Wyatt. I don't know if you guys might have seen, actually, there was a video of Braun Strowman doing a kip-up. which saying that Shawn Michaels, who's like probably half his weight, um, he's known for. Chris Jericho, the man with the list. Involved in the Universal Championship angle, even though he's not actually involved in trying to get the Universal Championship. But Chris Jericho is an amazing addition, and the flames really suit the, the scarf, I think. I think the scarf suits. Darren Young returning finally to WWE Supercard after ages. I mean, he was in the common and uncommon tier, but come on, you need this a better representation, especially if you want to make Darren Young great again. Uh, Dean Ambrose, that image is insane. That is great. I love this. Is one of the things I think the SmackDown has the better representation of the images, but then you got that, that Chris Jericho image. And I'm, I know I'm just rambling on, but the images are absolutely insane in this. Now we move on to Dolph Ziggler, Enzo Amore, Finn Balor, all have cards, good representation. I like the Dolph Ziggler card, that one looks great. I like the alternate view proposal that have just been face on, like from the side or from the back. That's always really awesome. Dave Slater actually getting an ultimate card, that's pretty cool, pretty interesting as well. Uh, and also you got the Usos there as, as well. I'm not sure if over there the new Usos or the older Usos 
Um, hopefully they are the, uh, I didn't actually check those cards out, but maybe they are the uh, the newer Usos. Then Balor got some pretty impressive stats there. Um, all of his ones from Elite, uh, the Ultimates, they have his uh, jacket on. So I don't know if that's just a part of the design. None of the ones had the demon. Um, but that'd be interesting to see. John Cena, you might have seen a sneak preview of John Cena on the uh, previous uh, one where I talked about the entirety of Season 3. Kevin Owens, a universal champ. That's, you know, for criticizing all the images in Season 2, that is probably his best ones. And ever since he got a universal championship, his images have been crazy. Nikki Bella as well. Um, who can forget Booby Bella? Uh, actually back now. Missed our couple of tears, but she's back. Uh, Sasha Banks, Seth Rollins, Shin Sheamus, Shinsuke Nakamura, you guys are probably reading quicker than I'm telling you, but that's Seth Rollins card. The pro Seth Rollins card. Oh, ho, ho. that is a, uh, that's an image that I've wanted to see in the game for ages. That was one of his return images when he came back from his injury. So it's nice to see that in the game. Shinsuke Nakamura image is good as well, The Miz. Uh, TJ Perkins, previous Cruiserweight champion. The New Day is represented in all tiers as well. We're now going to go back a step and have a look at the Elite tier. Now, the Elite tier has some pretty impressive cards. In fact, you know what? The SmackDown images on this are pretty nice. The Becky Lynch card especially. I am a big, big, big fan of the Becky Lynch card. Uh, big Ears. Our Big Show is finally in another tier. Bo Dallas, Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt's image is pretty awesome. Uh, Brock Lesnar, Charlotte. I mean, these are the guys you're expecting, but just brought to life more by the new cards and new catalog. Dean Ambrose, not a fan of the picture personally, but the background really goes with the, the picture that he's got. Uh, the other thing as well to mention is that to set your champ, you have to go into the card catalog now. You don't go into the, uh, the cards that you have and you own the ones you've, you've got in your card collection. Chris Jericho again with that scarf. Uh, loving the scarf. That's amazing. Uh, Hideo Itami making a return. Jack Swagger, Goldust, uh, Jimmy Uso, uh, John Cena, Kevin, another Ke good Kevin Owens card. Kane, which you would have seen in the previous one if you've seen the main menu. Uh, Luke Harper, great to see him back as well. Uh, but there are definitely some cards that are in him. I don't know why Mark Henry's still there, but uh, I'm guessing there's some kind of deal there. But Nikki Bella, Natalia, nice to see Natalia in another team, even though. She's not really at like, the top now, even though she's the, the captain for the SmackDown team. Randy Orton, a lot of Randy's images in uh, all the tiers are look pretty incredible. Bank Samoa Joe, Samoa Joe's got a couple of really nice images. The Miz is the card I love the most. The Miz card in Elite is just brilliant. I, it just looks fantastic and it just looks cocky, which is what it's supposed to do. It's got a lot of character to it. And that's something I noticed in a lot of the Season 3 pictures is that a lot of the cards have got a bit more, I don't know, character to them. There's a bit more, the, the, the pictures are a bit more representative of what they're like either in the ring or when they're promos, like the Miz. A lot of the Miz cards in the past have been a bit drab, for example. And we're going to move on to the supports. There are a couple of new supports. There's had some returning ones, and the returning ones have all got new images. As you can see here, for this Bobby Heenan card. And then you go to Money in the Bank. Now this is something I've never seen. AJ Styles with a Money in the Bank briefcase. Not sure where that image is from, but that is pretty cool. I, I like that a lot. Um, if that is a sign of things to come, if he was ever to lose the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, that would be a welcome sight, I'm not going to lie. Uh, moving forward from that, you've also got a Classy Freddy Blassie, which is, in my opinion, a better image than the one he had in uh, the game for Season 2. I think this image just makes him look tougher. I still think that he should be the same as he was in Season 1. Uh, Jimmy Hart's got a new image as well, which I think, again, looks better. Um, it, it, it kind of represents him more than just a friend pose, which, yeah, a lot of people refer to it as the friend card. Uh, but moving on from that, you've got the kendo stick comes back. Not much to talk about there, it's a stick, you know, the, the, it's a stick, uh, <laughs> but whatever, and uh, moving there to uh, the ladder, that a ladder image is great, it's no longer just a boring ladder, it's a boring ladder, with edge on it, I mean, come on, it's a ladder with edge on it, I mean, literally personifying it. The, the, the only way they could get better is having Jeff Hardy on there, which obviously is going to be impossible, because he's not with WWE anymore. But that image of Edge looks great. And some of just the, the, the way they personified it a little bit that looks really, really cool as well. Uh, Miss Elizabeth has a new image. Uh, not too much a fan, like the previous one, better, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'll say the same about the, the Paul Barry one looks better. The Paul Barry image looks better. 
uh, about the uh, sensation of Sherry. I think the sensation of Sherry image previously was much better than the one that's in the game, but the Paul Heyman is even better. Uh, that, I think, is a better image again. Just that some of the images, they're definitely uh, kind of like an upgrade. They've hit the upgrade button. Uh, it's a bit of that. The old, the pump it up is better. I, I, I don't like the fact they're not using Stone Cold anymore. They, it's not, uh, he's got a kind of superstar in there. You've got The Rock in the Ultimate, That's, which makes no sense for Second Wind. I would have thought they would have kept his Roman Reigns. So I see there's certain new uh, images on there, but me personally, I would have gone with The New Day for uh, the pump it up. The Second Wind, I was always a fan of The Undertaker because the, the Undertaker is the personification of Second Wind. Now, I actually said that I prefer the Sensational Sherry. Actually, I'm going to say I prefer the Sensational Sherry on the new cards. The stats, by the way, may not be what they are uh, representative of what they are in the actual game. And just a quick note on that, um, there are going to be some things you notice in the game now uh, which are not necessarily going to be representative of exactly the same, the same stat changes for example, maybe the images might change before the game comes out. So just a little notification in that regard, it may change before things get finalised. You also then have the stop sign and you also have the trash can and the table in a second. The table looks much much better, it doesn't just look like a table, it actually looks like a good table. And this WWE Universe picture looks awesome. This is how it should be every single time. Take note, Cat Daddy. That's how it should be. WrestleMania, the grandest stage of them all. But those are all of the, the new cards, the entire card catalogue unlocked for you to see. And I thought this would be great so people can see all the brand new cards are going to be in WWE Supercard Season 3. But let me know what you think in the comment section below about the brand new cards, new supports. You might have seen a couple of sneaky new cards there, which I haven't shown yet. Might have seen those. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel either by pressing the link that's going to show up at the bottom or alternatively clicking the red button that shows up on your screen. Maybe make sure you turn up notifications as well. Next one, which people are going to be really hyped about this and I, I cannot wait to show you all, is going to be about the Royal Rumble. If you want to go to that now, hit the button over there and you'll be able to go straight up to that video and check out the Royal Rumble mode and see what it's all about, including some new card designs that people probably weren't expecting, but definitely make the game better. That's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to go into the description below to hit me up on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, and Instagram. And that is it from me. I'll see you on the flip side of another season three video or later on down the line. Whatever happens, one thing to remember to do, and that is to ZOLIF!